Good morning. I'm Pastor Larry Kirkpatrick. I have the Muskegon, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist Church and the Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist Church. I decided I would just share a morning devotional time with you. We're going to look at Psalm 120 very briefly this morning, This one of the songs of ascent. There's about 15 of these psalms. Let me read it to you, and then I'll just comment, and that's all we'll do each morning. In my distress I cried to the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you, or what shall be done to you, you false tongue? Sharp arrows of the warrior with coals of the broom tree? Woe is me that I dwell in Meshech, that I dwell among the tents of Cater. My soul has dwelt too long with one who hates peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. This was David's challenge to be for peace when others were for war. And sometimes this is our challenge, yours and mine. The first thing we learn from this psalm is to follow the pattern that David has given us. We are to call to the Lord. In our distress, I believe if you will call to the Lord, he will deliver you. He will answer you. He'll show you the path to go in. David made some mistakes along the way when you read his story back there in, in first and 2 Samuel, but he sure got a lot of things right, and the only way he got them right was when he was walking with the Lord. He not only cried to the Lord, but he pled a specific plea to God. He pled for God to deliver him, and that's something that you and I can do. There's nothing preventing us. We can pray to God that God will deliver us. Do you think he might do that? Of course he'll do that. But it just might not come as rapidly or in the way that you or I possibly want. Or it'll probably be something better. Certainly it'll be something better than you or I ever imagined that God would do. In the third and fourth verse, he sort of rains down a little bit of his frustration. He's venting uh, the false tongue and suggesting maybe coals to come down on them. But that's okay. We can vent to God. We shouldn't vent too much to other people. They have their own issues, but we can vent to God, and God can always take it. So do your venting. Do your venting to God. And then he has woes. And we shouldn't dwell on our woes, but we can also do some of sharing our venting about our woes to God. That's okay. The Lord understands. And I like this last piece here. My soul has dealt, dwelt too long with one who hates peace. I'm for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. I like it, that not that they are for war, but I like it that David is ready to continue to be for peace, even when others are for war. And we need that spirit. It's so easy to say, all right, they've gone far, I've gone far enough. They've, they've, they've activated me now. They've pressed the rage button for me. Don't let somebody press the rage button for you. You press the peace button. You talk to God. Don't be activated by other people. Don't let them push your buttons because you're a child of the King. May God bless you today in all that you do. May you see Jesus. May he give you an opportunity to speak a word in season to somebody today. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, as we begin this day, uh, just asking that you will give us a spirit of peace and not of war. Help us, Lord, when we are struggling to cry out to you. Help us to, to plead for deliverance from you. When we vent, help us not to vent to others who can't help us, but we can vent to you. That's all right. And then, Lord, please help us when we have the right spirit to keep having it. God, bless the people that are in the hearing of my voice. Bless myself as I begin this day and them as they begin this day. Thank you for what you've given to us in the scriptures at Psalm 120. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great day with the Lord Jesus.